Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Is it lovely, genuinely lovely to be here in Bethel Week? It really is, because I've just come back from a spa holiday. <laughs> which was shit. Yeah, just a week working in a little supermarket. <laughs> So I've, I've had a bit of an odd day, I'll be honest with you. I went to the garden centre today and you know, just spent a couple of hours standing in the middle of my garden. <laughs> it's, it's nice to be here in London because I'm a bit of a country boy and I grew up in Suffolk. The people at the back there that probably own half of Suffolk. <laughs> But Suffolk is a beautiful part of the world, but I had a sound charge growing up in the and my family didn't have a lot growing up. We were so poor that we lived in an anorak. <laughs> yeah, and I tell you, it was tough growing up in the hood. <laughs> As a child, I was hit by a meteorite. As you can imagine, that had a huge impact on me. <laughs> so I went to the School of Hard Knocks. And as we called it, Jehovah's Witness College. My <laughs> <laughs> mum and dad got divorced as well when I was little, that's sad, isn't it? My mum my, my was having an affair with a demolitions expert. Yeah, bloody home wrecker. <laughs> my dad was in the army as well. Anyone here got military connections? <laughs> We're just going to cheer over here in the back <laughs> there. Yeah. Uh, what's your military connection? You sucked off a second home, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was at a gig recently, I asked that question. This lovely young lad, about 15, 16. I said, what, uh, have anyone here got any military connections? This lad put his hand up. I said, what's your military connection? He genuinely said, I've played Call of Duty. <laughs> And I come from a military background, my dad was in the army, he was an army engineer, specialised in clearing minefields. He always wanted me to follow in his footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> my, my granddad was in the army as well, my granddad was the regimental Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, didn't see any action, but he was highly decorated. <laughs> Driving here today, driving here from Wiltshire, where I live now. I, did, I should have explained that, shouldn't I? I'm not originally from Suffolk. I live in Wiltshire now. If you know Wiltshire, I live in a picturesque little village. Wiltshire. Yeah, lovely little place called Swindon. <laughs> if, if you don't know, give us a cheer if you've ever been to Swindon. <laughs> yeah, boom, Swindon. Been, Swindon's a shithole. You've been there forever. So if you don't know how rough Swindon is, right, it's the only place I've ever lived where the Anne Summers has a back to school range. <laughs> When I moved in there as well, I found out that at the end of my road is the local dogging site. I have to say, it's good to see you again, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he's the back of your head anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you've still got warm hands as well. <laughs> no, don't don't worry, he's a very considerate lover. He gives you a hug and everything afterwards. Even if you're crying. <laughs> It's at the end of my road is the local dogging site, then, or as my neighbours call it, the park and ride. <laughs> so I, I live there, I live in Sweden now with my wife. Who's married? Who's cheer? <laughs> so how long have you been married? 30 years. 30 years, brilliant. Give them a round of applause, they know 30 years. <laughs> me, me and my wife have married three so far, we've done three. Uh, yeah, we're, doing, we're doing all right. I'm reasonably happy married. Yeah. My wife's kinky. Mm. Well, she prefers to say she's got a twisted <laughs> spine. <laughs> My wife's got a foot fetish, yeah, which is unfortunate because I've only got six inches. <laughs> Put it in twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
jokes in. Uh, I, love, I love an audience member who's brought his own jokes in. Uh, and, uh, it is a bit like going to a brothel and wanking yourself. Put it in twice. Uh, I, was, I was very unlucky in love though before I met a wife. It's hard to believe, isn't it, ladies? But this prime piece of man thing. So, uh, you know, I was single for a long time. I was single so long. I got so desperate. In the end, I made myself a Lego sex doll. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I loved her to bits. <laughs> I went out with an Avon lady for a little while. You know, we used to argue all the time, but we had fantastic makeup sex. <laughs> lived on a houseboat for a little while, and I was seeing the girl next door. But eventually we drifted apart. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, had a, I've had a weird week this week though, because me and my wife, we decided to get our loft converted. Yeah, it's now Catholic. We were going to make it Jewish, but then having a bit chopped off the end. <laughs> We decided to get a pet as well, me and my wife. We went and got one of those rescue dogs. Which is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, except when it gets called out in the middle of the night. <laughs> so EastEnders all over the news, isn't it? EastEnders all over the news. An unpopular Tory Prime Minister. And the start of a new Cold War. Does anyone else think this 80s revival's got me out of hand? <laughs> I get confused very easily, ladies and gentlemen. Someone told me this the other day, someone told me that 40 is a new 30. Have you all heard this? Yeah, 40 is a new 30. Yeah, but you try explaining that to a speed camera. <laughs> I get confused for reasons. I get confused when I come into London. I was in London the other day, right? This confused me. How come the National Portrait Gallery is actually wider than it is tall? <laughs> <laughs> I get confused by these lists as well. You've seen these lists? 101 places to visit before you die. Yeah, none of them suggests a hospital. <laughs> New, new Year, anyone made any New Year's resolutions? Yeah. Nice February already, yeah. What What's your New Year's resolution? Stop drinking! Stop drinking? <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? Not well. Not well? <laughs> so, so she's necking wicked at the back there. She she is. Is. I, 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 I'm not drinking as well, I've decided to get healthy as well. You could probably see, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm, I'm a bit of a... Yeah, thank you very much, yeah, I'm getting trim. Yeah. I've, I've started going to the gym. Yeah, I went to the gym today. I jumped on the cross trainer. Yeah, although to be fair, he wasn't cross before he jumped on him. <laughs> you people probably know this, but I found out that apparently the word gymnasium in ancient Greek meant naked exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You try explaining that to the receptionist at Fitness First. <laughs> and the police. <laughs> But the policeman who turned up, he was a lovely fellow, the policeman, he was an albino. And I thought, well, it's a fair cop. So <laughs> 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 I'm quite sporty though, quite proud of myself, Major. Because last year I managed a personal best for the London Marathon. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah, 4 hours and 35 minutes. Woo! Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, after that, I got bored and I had to change the channel for something else. <laughs> I, was asked, I was asked if I'd run the London Marathon for charity, and yeah, I had to say no. Yeah, mainly because I've no experience of organising an event that big. <laughs> but I did think, right, if I ever run the London Marathon, I'm going to do it in a fancy dress. Right, I love this little dress up like my fancy jeans. If I ever run the London Marathon, I'm going to do it dressed as a jacket potato. <laughs> right, so I think that's genius. Jacket potato suit, little legs sticking out the bottom, run all 26 and a bit miles. So when I cross the finish line, and they wrap me in tin foil. <laughs> just completes the look, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so just 
just doing a short spot tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll leave you in a second. I'll tell you a couple of things though before I go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. When I was asked, when I was asked recently uh, if I'd do a charity gig for the uh, rehabilitation of sex offenders, yeah, I was touched. <laughs> That's, that's back in the news, isn't it? That's back in the news. Have you seen this Operation Yew Tree? It's uh, not very nice, is it? Of course, in this country, Operation Yew Tree is an investigation into sexual abuse in the 1970s and 80s. But of course, in Ireland, Operation Yew Tree is any arrest involving three people. <laughs> <laughs> So I think only you tree at the front of that. They do, you can absolutely delight. You've got a brilliant headline act. Uh, my name's Tony Cowens. You can be Twitter and Facebook. Look up on there. Have a great night.